Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Leah Lee, and today I am going to be giving y'all my Fenty Skin Care Update. You all know, and if you don't know, now you know that I did a review on the Fenty Skin Care line um, about three weeks ago, going on four weeks, so roughly like that month mark is um maybe just like a couple days to like a week away all right like y'all your girl's skin is glowy like real life i told y'all in my original video that your girl is looking like rihanna still looking like ruby still smelling like ruby so i'm happy about that the cleanser has been extremely gentle on my face i have been using it like i said i plan on using it and it's gentle enough to make me know that my skin is not being stripped from all the necessary uh, oils that my skin and moisture that it needs to retain. And I know that Rihanna had expressed that Barbados Cherry is in this product. As far as the accessibility of this product, getting the product out of the container, I appreciate the manufacture of the way this product was made, this container was made as far as all of across the board with all of them um it's uh, they're all in one it's two in one where it's like the lid comes open but it does not remove itself and we all know that that was made like that in the beginning now as far as using it you know this longevity of it i did not care i don't care for the fact that it somewhat reminds me of a toothpaste container and when I say that is that when I do squeeze the product out of this container, I have to kind of like fix the, its shape. I have to like maneuver it back because of course with every use, the product is getting less and less. So it kind of, if I don't fix it back, it will remain like really disformed and I don't like the way that looks. That's kind of like something that I'm like, oh, I hate that. Kind of like what a toothpaste container does. We all know that once the toothpaste contain, once the toothpaste runs out of the container, you have to kind of like squeeze it all to the bottom. So that's one thing I was like, mm, I use it when I'm in the shower. So it's not like I'm in a rush to get it out, but I just don't really care for the fact that I have to like fix it back for it to gain its shape back again. Another thing that I do like about this container is that I can control how much comes out. Um, sometimes we have cleansers that you can control it. I know that there's one cleanser in particular that I am comfortable using, I love using. I don't have any more at this moment, but the cleanser is actually like a soap in a jar and that is beyond frustrating to try to use once it starts to run out so verse that versus this i would definitely take this one over that other cleanser so i like this one it makes me feel secure as well once it's closed that nothing is going to come out another con with this is that i don't like having to wipe the remaining product off of the opening um, when the cleanser when, you, when it closes it makes whatever is like right at the tip of it that residue come to the top of the container and I do not like to have to wipe that either I don't know these are maybe things that I'm just nitpicking at but this is things that like if you're using this every day two times a day those are things that you pick up on and I just don't like extra stuff that I have to do in me for my own sanity and maybe it's like OCD I don't know but I want to have a clean container. I don't want any residue whatsoever on my containers. So moving on to the fat water. I've used a good amount, but a little bit of this goes a long way. So if you do use too much, it will be all over your hands and your face will maybe take like a little bit longer to dry. As well, um, but going back to, of course, two in one, um, the little switch top. I do not care for the residue that comes at the top of this lid whatsoever. And it happens every single time after using it. The product is amazing. It gives me the right amount of moisture. I feel like it could now be more serum-like, like lock in more hydration. I wasn't um, totally against what other reviews were saying when they were like, it's not hydrating at all. 
but you know as the seasons change as you are um more outside or you know whatever the case may be if you're inside more under the air conditioner you may experience different um reactions with this product as far as it not being moisturizing enough and i feel like i wish this was a little bit more moisturizing but that's why we have the moisturizer as, as well i'll talk about that once i get to that product but this one great product i like it so much for the fact that i feel like it does leave just just enough for me right after cleansing and sometimes if I am not using my moisturizer <clears throat> from Fenty Skin. I will lock in my moisture with my Cetaphil Rich Moisturizing Cream. And this is in the um, jar and this is all the way very, very rich. So if anybody is experiencing extremely dry skin or wants to lock in extra moisture on their face after this, um, using these products or any products and you don't want to use a sunscreen uh, mixed with the moisturizer then I like this a lot it has really helped my skin all over body skin and my face and that locks my moisture in that's what I have on right now I really don't I probably won't go outside today much so me just thinking I just rather stay away from the sunscreen and the moisturizer just because I'm comfortable with this as well moisturizer and sunscreen we all know that it is the twist push up top now one thing that i have been realizing lately with this product is that a little bit comes out with each pump and that's a good thing and it's kind of like a weird thing like am i getting enough because with the it's like a, a small amount so when it pumps out you're feeling like maybe like this isn't enough but i feel like two to three pumps is the just like just the right amount for your face because you don't want a whole lot on your face and um i would i would just say this is a cool product it is it makes me feel secure that my skin is being moisturized as well as protected with the spf that's in it but i don't know maybe i could feel like i could live without this maybe not but I know at first I like was like head over heels for this product and I still enjoy this product but it's just not like an everyday use for me because I spend a lot of time inside um, so especially in my house right this time right like this moment I just I'm not like so 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 crazy about this product anymore I have it if it's needed and that's what counts I feel like because everybody needs sunscreen everybody goes outside at least once or twice sometimes in the daytime or at least in the week and uh i definitely need this sunscreen for when i do so overall my feelings about the product and how my skin has been um with using the products so y'all may remember when i first did my first review that i was experiencing perioral dermatitis now that is still on my skin is it as pronounced maybe maybe not some days are better than others but i do have to bring my camera i mean my uh, mirror in a little closer to give it a look it's definitely still there and I feel like in a way it, it has migrated because it was on this side severely and now it's on this side just like a little bit around the same areas but it's not as like crazy as it was before like it was a time where this side was just like extremely inflamed and it was it had like that 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 dry chapped rash look even if i was putting moisturizer on it it was like just madness and um wash my sheets did all the linen stuff that you know that you are of course gonna think about to do and to try but i don't know what's going on with this skin you guys i definitely do not believe i know at first i was really saying that it was due to the mask but i don't agree with that anymore because i haven't even really been wearing a mask like that because i spent a lot of time at home and it has just had a mind of its own um i feel like the products definitely keep it calm and keep it somewhat maintained this is not a product that i'm going to say yeah completely got rid of you know what i was dealing with 
but as far as acne and breakouts it has cut my skin clear and I can't ask more of a product. I'm not about to be using a product and it's not keeping away any acne. I feel great about this product. I do feel like we need an exfoliator somewhere in the mix with these. I'm pretty sure Rihanna has that somewhere in her plans with this skincare line, but I would love an exfoliator. Something not, I don't know, maybe a scrub. I will feel like more so an enzyme would be like bomb versus a scrub. Hmm. I see like a body scrub maybe, but something as far as the face, I'm feeling more enzyme -y. I'm going to wrap this video up. This is how my 30 days with Fenty skincare has gone. Um, I love these products. I enjoy them dearly and I really be feeling like I smell like Rihanna like all day long. So I'm happy with that and my skin is clear. So thanks Riri girl. You did your thing. I will see y'all in my next video. Y'all leave. If y'all have been using this product since it dropped and you have been using it religious, make sure y'all leave y'all opinions down below in the comment section because I want to know everyone's intake on, you know, using this product as well. This 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 skincare line. And um, if you haven't been using it like that, just save your opinions because, or you can you can you can express yourself. Don't comment like you've been using it like religiously, like I have or anybody else that has been using it like that has. So yeah, I'll see you on my next video.